Got some very exciting things going on. You have a unique platform in the real estate crowdfunding space. But before we get into the details of that, sure. there is a big banner on your website specifically that says, we were built for times like these. Tell me about that. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. Well, it's, it's really good to be back to be with you. Uh, I am, uh, I, I think this is a really interesting time for all of us in real estate and in real estate finance. Uh, we started our company. Uh, I met my co-founder in 2012. Uh, he had just finished working on the 2012 jobs act, which of course liberalized capital formation in a way that enabled different types of crowdfunding actually. Uh, and real estate has been a very successful sort of story within that. Um, part of the reason that was all happening in 2012 is because of what happened in 2008 and 2009. And our company was born out of that. When we looked at what happened in capital markets during that time, we realized that part of the failure of capital markets then, and honestly, part of the failure in capital markets now with what's happened during the pandemic is a structural one. And we had a very specific vision for how that structural shortcoming could be addressed. And we created the company to do that. So when we say we were built for times like this, uh, what we mean by times like this, we mean in times when REITs have suspended redemptions, locking up individuals, individuals' capital when they most need and want liquidity, uh, when they as an intermediary, even a well-meaning or constructive intermediary, have put the hammer down of their intermediary power over their individual investors. When large institutions who buy paper, which originators like Ground Floor or others in our space might use in order to allocate capital to sponsors, you know what they all did? They stopped buying paper at precisely the time when, when people needed them to buy, continue buying paper. And they literally locked up the market, not because they thought the market was in trouble, not because of primary concerns about the health of the real estate market, but because they had faced redemption requests, they faced margin calls, and they faced fires in their portfolios. Those are not primary and uh, substantively valid reasons. Those are structural problems. And I'm going to tell you, uh, seven years into building this company, we know that the vision we had for retail investors having all the rights, prerogatives, opportunities, and power on a level playing field with the hedge funds and the big banks, we were right. Because you know what? Retail investors don't have margin calls, uh, liquid face liquidations, uh, they don't have the same structural deficiencies and problems that institutions who are applying inappropriate levels of leverage to their, uh, to their funds have. And so, so when we say we were built for times like this, this is what we mean. We think a capital market structured this way, the way the ground floor is structured, is more pliable, more uh, durable, uh, more flexible, uh, in times like this. And, and, and it's, it's true, the, the data is bearing it out. 